Well, hello there, Carrington. Hey, hey, hey. Just uh, wanted to do a little mini episode here and chat with you. We're a couple days late, but we still wanted to make sure that we get this out this week. Um, yeah, yeah. Before we chat about what we're going to chat about here in a little bit, I just want to go ahead and uh, go into uh, just a couple of small things. Um, one, I uh, really appreciate the feedback that we get, you know, on, on Facebook and um, iTunes with the reviews there. So we wanted to kind of start this thing. Uh, if you leave us a review um, on either platform, uh, we'll pick one and we'll go, we'll read it on uh, our episodes and uh, just give you a shout out. Um, so shout, shout, let it all out. <laughs> and Carrington will go into a song every time, every time, and that's guaranteed. just how it's going to be. Yeah, so we have to stick to that. Um, so real quick on iTunes, uh, Ian H twenty seven twenty eight left us a five star review. Uh, really Thank excited you, for that. <clears throat> um, he says, "Great podcast for gamers." This is just a chill video game podcast of That Average Joe. No frills, no hard-nosed reviewers, just four guys sitting down talking about the thing they love most, video games. Oh, I'd yeah. definitely give it a recommend. Oh, thanks, thanks Ian. Ian. Yeah. So we definitely appreciate that. If you guys uh, like the show, uh, make sure that you leave us a review on iTunes. The more reviews, the more love that we get. Um, you can leave us a comment on Podbean if you listen to Podbean. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are excited to um, share these with our listeners. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to get into before we talk about this fantastic game uh, that released this week. Uh, Jeremy Stilts uh, had got a hold of me through Facebook. Uh, probably one of the Facebook groups that we're in about indie video games. Uh, he has just started a Kickstarter for Super Souse. Uh, that is his game. It is going to launch on Windows platform. Uh, they are trying to work on uh, getting it on Steam, Mac, Linux, Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Uh, let me just tell you about this game here a little bit. Have you seen anything about it, Carrington? I remember looking at it uh, when you f we first decided to do a mini and, and mention him, but I haven't looked at it since then. Um, okay. Could you a, a nice fresh reminder? Yes, would be nice though. Um, so uh, the description: What is Super Souse? Super Souse is a video game which has nothing to do with souse meat. What? <laughs> um, basically, looking at this game, um, it is inspired by series like Mega Man, Contra, Castlevania. So it's definitely got that um, open world environment to it. There's no linear. Uh, it, it's a non-linear action platformer. Um, it looks like it's difficult. Uh, there are challenging bosses through the screenshots that I do see. Um, I see one boss on here that looks, um, it kind of, it reminds me of like a Mega Man or a, uh, Contra boss. Just this big, big monster on one side of the map while you're trying to battle it. Um, uh, there's also a few shoot 'em up stages and plenty of rewards to discover through this game as well. Uh, graphics uh, are very retro. I love it. It's very beautiful in color. Uh, the cool thing with this um, is it's got two-player co-op as well. Um, so yeah, that's Super Souse. Uh, Jeremy still sent that to me. He does have a Kickstarter set up for it. It is going um, till December 4th. Uh, and if they plenty reach their goal... Time. Yeah, definitely plenty of time. Uh, they, they've got... Uh, a month and a week left, looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Super Souse on Kickstarter. Uh, check it out. Support them. Let's get this game on on uh, our consoles here, because I would love to check it out on Xbox and play it with my dearest Carrington. Hey, hey now. Um, and it, they, it looks like they're not asking a whole lot either. They're only asking for five grand, and they yep. are at two hundred fifty dollars at the moment. And just even pledging ten bucks gets you the game and your name in the credits. So yeah. get on it. Totally worth it. I agree. Totally worth it. Um. So yeah. Once again, that is Super Souse uh, on Kickstarter. Uh, could come to a console or PC near you. Yeah. Yeah. So, Carrington, 
So, Kyle. There is this game about this plumber that uh-huh, wears go on. red. And, I think I know uh, where you're going. Uh, he fights a dinosaur who kidnaps his uh, future wife-to-be called <laughs> Princess Peach. Oh, oh, I think I know where you're going. Have you ever heard of Mario? Um, I think so. You know, I he doesn't get a whole lot of love out there. You know, we no. cover indie games mostly, so I think this fits in there in that in that little. Yeah, just knowing, it's very you know very you know such a niche game. Oh yeah, for sure. Like if you've never played uh, or heard of this this game, Mario, this character, we don't blame you. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> no, no. I so I thought uh, since Mario Odyssey released this week on the Switch, um. You know, we, we like to cover indie games, and uh, we love supporting uh, new developers and, and you know, uh, quote-unquote, the uh, underdog developers, those that are really uh, working their, their hearts out um, to make their projects that we love. Uh, we mm-hmm. wanted to just take a moment and recognize Mario. He is, uh, you know, obviously forefather to video games. Oh, yeah, for grandfather. sure. Yeah. Um, and you, we don't get too many Mario games that come out, so Mario Odyssey released this uh, was it a week ago? I think it is. No, no, so, no. Friday. Yeah, about a week ago. Yeah, it's okay. almost a week yeah. as of this recording. So we just, you know, we wanted to recognize that and, and discuss it a little bit on, on this mini episode. Um, I have not picked it up yet. I've drove by uh, the game store multiple times, tempted to pull in there and buy it, but my, you know, pockets aren't running so deep right now. So uh, it'll be holding off until this Friday. But Carrington. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You picked it up? I did. I did pick it up. Um, day of release, of course. Now, before I really talk about this game, I have not gotten a chance to play it as much as I would like to at the moment. Because um, I went out of town uh, the day it came out. And I, I played a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, but yesterday and today, I've probably gotten about five to six hours between yesterday and today. So I have had some time with it at the moment. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the best Mario games right there, out there right now. And so, here's the thing too. If you loved Galaxy, you will absolutely love Odyssey because I feel like a Galaxy was a nice foundation uh, for what Odyssey is about and Odyssey is the perfection of that formula um, because there's... um, Because Galaxy had some motion controls... The Odyssey, on the other hand, encourages you to use motion controls um, and it encourages you to use both Joy-Cons in your hands, whether the dock is it, whether the, the switch is in the dock or not, which I found interesting. And I love the Pro Controller. I love it to death. I think it's one of the best controllers out there and it's comfortable. I would highly recommend using the Joy-Cons when playing Odyssey. Separated? Though. Yeah, Separated. It is, it's, it's quite comfortable and it's, I don't, it's just something about it. It's just right. And the way you have to use the motion controls to do certain things. Now the game itself doesn't f- literally force you to use motion controls outside of a couple times. Okay. So if you're going to play it, um, off the dock, I do not suggest that playing it in handheld mode, but rather like tabletop mode or something like that. Because like I said, like it, it heavily encourages motion controls so one uh, your new sidekick in this game is cappy right Mm -hmm. the hat yep so with say with like the motion controls Mm -hmm. uh do you fling your wrist in order to initiate cappy you can or you can use hit or you can hit the y button okay to like you know launch him or whatever but there are certain times where you might need a coin um that may be a little bit further out and to you can whip um the joy con and it, mm-hmm. he um then cappy will whip in that direction if you're in handheld mode with the joy cons attached you can't do that yeah i was going to say if you uh do a flick of the wrist yeah uh, <laughs> you might throw your whole console <laughs> exactly exactly yeah <laughs> so i mean there's just little instances like that where you're it's it's pretty much needed and then there's a couple of the like people you take over where you're gonna need you're gonna use motion controls like it's, okay. you will use it 
there's no way around it. So okay. Um, I haven't gotten experience everything yet, so that I know that there's a couple of like creatures you take over. Like I literally have not seen or experienced yet, so I am still going through it right now. No T Rexes yet. What's that? No T Rexes. Actually, yet? the T Rex is one of the first things you take over. So yeah, oh, really? I, ha- I have seen the T Rex and I've taken over it. Yep. That's cool. It was a lot of fun, and the game is gorgeous good night because when i did take over the t-rex that's when i noticed like a few of the, like the way the textures are and stuff i'm like oh my gosh this game is beautiful mm-hmm. um it, obviously it does look better docked as opposed to handheld mode because of the slight increase but either way it doesn't matter handheld or docks the game is gorgeous yeah and from what i've heard uh the game is kind of like a love letter to 64 mario 64 Yes, and even I, I to me, in my opinion, it's even more than that. I think it's a love letter to just Mario fans in general of all generations. Because, okay. like I said, it controls. Um, it reminds me a lot of Gal- uh, yeah, Mario Galaxy. Um, I see N sixty four bits in there. I see like the original Super Mario Brothers. There are bits where it's two D that are probably one of my favorites to experience. How how are those two D bits? I mean. They're a lot of fun, and I don't know how Nintendo pulls it off, like from a programming standpoint. Because mm-hmm. um, when you think, uh, just oh, it's so perfectly well done. So like you, <laughs> you'll see tunnels like hidden, or sometimes they're not so hidden, and that's when you know, like oh, it's a two D bit. So mm-hmm. you go in there, and a lot of times to exit those areas, it's seamless. So like you'll be doing two bit thing, or yeah, a two D bit thing, and then you might hit like a ceiling and it breaks and when you when Mario jumps up he turns back into 3D and it's like oh that's so cool that is pretty neat huh so um the difficulty of the game do you find it challenging or do you find it more of kind of like a uh nice easy game so far what the you game through yeah so far the game is really easy i'm able to go through a lot of the levels very easily um the game does encourage uh some exploration um, Mm -hmm. because you're supposed to be collecting moons to power up your ship and stuff to chase bowser down and a lot of times as soon as you collect the moons you need to continue on to the next one the game encourages you hey continue on like it's almost forcing you to keep going when you know there's more moons there's 800 moons in the entire game so i know when i finish an area i know there's way more moons in that area but because the game is almost forcing you to like go forward, I have a feeling it's going to make me go back to get the ones that I missed and, and went over. It's, it uh, sounds like you carry over a lot of replayability to it. Oh, yeah. yeah so far, I can definitely see that. Um, yeah. Because I just finished New Donk City last night, mm-hmm. which is probably one of my favorite levels of all time, like in any Mario game. And it's probably, probably one of my favorites. Yeah. You see, you see when, I, when I saw that, for the first time, I thought that was quite strange. Like, Cartoon Mario in with... and with... Yeah, and like the real world. But here's the yeah. thing. The brilliance of it, right? So, the entire city is an homage to the original Mario Brothers. We're talking Donkey Kong Mario. That Mario. Oh, really? Because the city takes... <clears throat> like, it... It's like almost lore-based Mario. Like you don't even get that in a Mario game. Right. <laughs> because like the like the original uh Donkey Kong game, it he's you're on top of a building, right? That's like construction building kind of thing. Yeah. That's supposed to be the same city. This this the new Donk City level is the same city that where that takes place. Oh really? Yeah. And so the girl is not Peach in that game, it's Pauline, and Pauline yeah. is actually in the game also. Okay. And there are a lot of references to Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong and a lot of the Kongs. Uh, just, just oh, there's just so many references. It's fantastic. But just because of the references doesn't make the level itself, you know, amazing. One of the best levels. It's, it's the level design in itself to me is mind blowing. So it's ridiculous. Here's a bold prediction. Yeah. Do you think New Donk City is the layout for the next Donkey Kong 3D game? Hmm. Donkey like... Kong Switch D4. <laughs> Let's see it. I want to see it so bad because we haven't had a we haven't had a, a 3D Donkey Kong game in a long time, it seems like. Yeah. We I don't, we're due I, for I, one. Yeah, we are definitely due for one. So last question. Mm-hmm. Um we're gonna keep this short. Right, right. It's kind of a big one. And Uh-oh. And I know that, you know, you probably haven't put as many hours into this as you have this 
previous game I'm going to mention. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zelda released earlier this year, Breath of the Wild. Ooh, baby, yes, it did. It was highly praised. Yes, it was. Mario releases towards the end of this year, mm-hmm. and it is highly praised. Oh, yes. And I've heard you say that Zelda is possibly Game of the Year material. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like Mario could knock Zelda out of place for that Game of the Year? Gosh. So here's the thing. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, in my opinion at least, redefined what a Zelda game is to us. Whereas Odyssey at the moment, like I said, I haven't finished Odyssey yet. Odyssey at the moment has just perfected the Mario formula. It has not redefined it. Okay. So you felt like Zelda brought more to the table. Yes. Okay. But, but I will say also, Odyssey is a very close second for game of the year. Like I'm, I mean, it's, it's very close. Well, there like, you have it. To yeah. say that it's to say that still yeah. hurts in a way because it's Mario, but at the same time, Zelda. And I, I think mean, they're, they're practically brothers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to go more into it, but I just, I haven't, I felt like also at the same time, I haven't gotten enough time with it yet. Well, I'll tell you what, if it comes to it, um, maybe we, we can have another discussion because I'm going to be picking it up here soon. And okay. I bet you, Andrew will probably be playing it too, you think? I think so too. And the thing that, yeah. too is that's, um, I will say real quick also. Mm-hmm. Like with Zelda, I felt like I had to spend at least an hour. Otherwise, you know, I can just kiss my Zelda time goodbye if I can't get at least an hour into it. Yeah. Um, Mario, I definitely don't get that because there's just so many different worlds. I can pick it up for 15, 20 minutes, leave it, and then come back and play another three hours if I wanted to. Oh, like nice. I can I can do both. I can have both sessions and be yeah. happy with Mario. I can't do a short session with Zelda and be happy with myself. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Mario Odyssey, uh, I won't have you leave a rating for it unless you really wanted to. I can't. I feel like I can't judge it yet. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, we can revisit that, it. We can revisit yeah, it. We'll do that. Carrington, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Um, not or is that, that, that it? We, oh yes, no, no, no. Up. I do have something, an announcement okay. to make. I will make. I'll make the announcement now. Here, and you heard it first. Um, Roger and myself have been talking a lot from Gamer Heads podcast. Um, we will be releasing a crossover show very soon, um, so keep an eye out for it. We will have to re-record the first episode, unfortunately, because I lost my audio. Okay. So, but yeah, keep your eye out. Super exciting. Uh, that where can people? find it when it releases when it releases we will release it on our both respective channels so just if you're subscribed to us uh, to real dudes podcast or if you're subscribed to gamer heads podcast you will definitely want um get a notification when it goes live and stuff um at the moment that is how we were going to set it up we're going to release it on both channels and go from there okay sweet so yeah we'll look out for that um be sure to follow us on twitter at real dudes underscore pod uh, Instagram and Facebook at Real Dudes Pod, uh, and then if you have any questions for us, um, you can email us uh, at podcast at realdudespodcast dot com. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button on iTunes, Podbean, uh, and if you are on YouTube, check out our channel. Uh, we are uploading Let's Plays, and subscribe to us, and share with your friends, and give us thumbs ups, and leave comments, and that's it. And support our affiliates. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, and huge, huge shout out to Podbean. Uh, that's who we run our podcast through. Uh, they have been so nice to us lately. Um, uh, Shannon uh, over there uh, helped us get featured on the website. Um, it has helped us reach uh, you listeners a lot more uh, listeners than we had before. Um, we've been on there for about three weeks now, I think. We're still going strong, and we are so happy to uh, to be able to reach some new people and be able to you know communicate with you guys. So yeah, hit us up on our social networks, email us, uh, whatever you want, chat with us. Um, if you leave us an interesting question, we'll definitely discuss it on the show. So that's it. All Other right. than that, uh, have a rad day. Bye.